overview of the Order Dispatch View in Cloud Commerce Pro. The Order Dispatch View is one of the most commonly used areas in Cloud Commerce Pro. It's here that you will dispatch all of your orders unless you use our specialist warehouse view called Packing Station. The Order Dispatch View is a centralized view of all orders from every sales channel that has been set up in Cloud Commerce Pro. To get started, go to the Admin Center in Cloud Commerce Pro and click Order Dispatch from the Warehouse section. A summary at the top gives you a breakdown of how many orders and products are waiting to be dispatched. You can also see the number of current issues, such as unpaid orders. If you use filters to change what kind of orders are being displayed, the summary figures will automatically adjust to reflect the change. The Order Dispatch view displays all of your orders, but brings the ones that require the most attention to the top of the page. There are sections for orders of issues, such as those awaiting payment, priority orders that require express shipping, and orders with dispatch issues that might require stock allocating to them. These sections will only be visible when there are orders to fill them. The Standard Orders section displays all of your normal orders awaiting dispatch. Orders are grouped by customer to ensure you can dispatch them together. On the left, you can quickly see the sales channel an order is from, in what country it originated from, and whether they are a trade or retail customer. If there are issues with the order, an exclamation mark will be shown in the corner. Hovering your mouse over it will display the specifics. Basic order information is also displayed, such as the customer's name, address, and user IDs. The Products field gives a breakdown of all the items on an order, as well as the quantity ordered. If you hover the mouse over the Product field, you will see an image of the item and a more detailed description of it. Below the description are links to view the product in Cloud Commerce Pro, which is really useful if you spot something that needs a quick change. There is also a link to Product Mapping, allowing you to fix incorrectly mapped items quickly. You will also see a summary of how much has been allocated and dispatched for the order which will differ depending on its status. Moving along, you will find the date and time the order was received, or for completed orders, this will display as the dispatch date. Besides this, you will see the order total in your default currency, along with the shipping cost for the order. The courier status field gives you a breakdown of the courier information for each order. This includes the shipping method, usually chosen automatically by the system, based on your shipping rules. Clicking the shipping method will open a new menu that allows you to select the courier manually. These are organized into two groups, rules that match and rules that don't, making it much easier for you to make an appropriate choice. Clicking the cog button besides the shipping rule opens a new menu allowing you to edit the weight and size of items in the order. You would only need this if the item weights haven't been set on the products. Click the box button to open the Customs Declaration menu. Use this to ensure items are being declared correctly in order to avoid shipments being rejected by the courier. You can also find a Dispatch By and Expected Delivery Date in this section. The dispatch date can be altered by clicking on it if required. the courier, or the dispatch date is showing in red, this indicates there is an issue such as no wait set for an item or a missed dispatch date. This allows you to remedy issues as quickly as possible. The status of the order is displayed under the details button, such as ready, complete, picking and many more. Clicking the details button brings up a new menu with many powerful features. From here you can change the delivery address, prioritize an order, print invoices and pick lists, and mark orders as fully or partially dispatched. This menu also displays a detailed breakdown of all the products in the order and all prices related to it. The Actions tab at the top of the page contains many bulk actions, allowing you to do many things like dispatch many orders at once or print multiple invoices. Refresh List or refresh your dispatch list to ensure it is up to date. Use Recalculate Couriers if you have altered your shipping rules and you need to apply those changes to your current dispatch list. If you need to change the dispatch date of multiple orders, 
you can check the orders to select them and then click change dispatch date. You can mark orders as dispatched in bulk by checking the box beside them and clicking multi-order dispatch. You can group orders so they can be shipped together. Select the orders you want with the check boxes and click grouped shipments. This will open the group shipments menu. A new shipping rule will be applied to the combined shipment and you will have the option to set the dispatch options you require. Multi-order allocation will generate a list of all orders that require allocation. Click complete to allocate stock from your current inventory towards those orders. Print invoices will print an invoice for any and all orders that have been selected. You can generate a CSV file for multiple orders by selecting all the orders required and clicking CSV shipment. The CSV shipment menu gives you the options to set the courier rule and dispatch options. Finally, dropship analysis will check all selected orders for those with dropship suppliers assigned to them. With this method, multiple orders can be dropshipped in one go. You can use the filters tab to control which orders are displayed. This is especially useful if you have a large amount of orders but would rather deal with specific types together. Orders can be filtered by status, such as picked or prioritized. Completion allows you to see orders already completed. Sales channel filters on a specific channel, such as, for example, eBay UK or Amazon Germany. Courier filters to various shipping methods you have set up. Customer allows you to choose between retail or trade customers. Warehouse will display orders from specific warehouses you've created in the system. Dispatch date lets you see orders only from a specified day. You can filter to see only orders that contain GIF messages or notes. Channel type differs from the sales channel filter and it allows you to see all orders from your multiple eBay and Amazon sales channels combined. Supplier allows you to filter on a specific one of your suppliers, which could be used when allocating stock. Order type lets you filter by single product, multiple product, or grouped orders. This could be useful to organize your picking operations. Finally, country will let you filter your orders by the country the order originated from. The shipments tab gives you access to vital information on your consignments. Show shipments opens the shipments for today menu, which gives you a breakdown of all shipments booked in for each courier, allowing you to view print or cancel them as needed. Upload tracking opens the upload courier tracking data menu. Use this to push out courier tracking data to your sales channels such as eBay or Amazon. Any shipping manifests that have been created can be seen by clicking view manifests. A new addition to the shipments tab is shipment history. The shipment history page shows all booked shipments ordered by courier, allowing you to cancel recent shipments, view and reprint documents, and access a detailed collection of past shipments. You can select orders and click Print Selected to quickly print out an A4 pick list for each one. For a more detailed look at pick lists in Order Dispatch, click the link on screen. Order Dispatch also includes an alternative product view, which groups all orders by product. You can switch between the two modes by clicking the toggle button at the top of the page. The orders that make up each group of products can be viewed with the drop down under Orders for Product. You can find the quantity ordered for each product as well as a link to the product on Cloud Commerce Pro when you hover over with the mouse. That concludes an overview of the order dispatch view in Cloud Commerce Pro. Please speak to your project manager for more information.